So now I'm lifting this thing up. And once it gets to a certain point, the struts kind of take over and it's all the way up. Um, so over here, you can tell there's actually quite a bit of headroom here. Um, I'm six foot tall. This is about at my face right now. So at the top here, you can see my hand reaching up. I'm standing straight. It's pretty tall here. And then obviously slopes down going back. Lots of places to attach things. So one of the things that we did this custom here is this additional bed. So this is something I actually built. It's really easy to remove if you don't want it. Um, but my son sleeps up here. Um, it's just a five foot long bed. Pretty narrow, but this little enclosure. Um, I don't know. It's easy to take out if you don't want it. It's just attached with a few bolts here. Um, you know, I had to drill just a couple of holes to put these in. And then in the back, I was able to use the existing holes largely. So it's very little damage if you were to just remove this. Um, but it might be kind of cool. We actually liked it as, a, as an additional bed. Um, so over here, you have this thing flips up underneath. So if you want to get just, if you want to like store bikes here or something, if you don't need the sitting area or bed, you can do that. And then this flips up as well and attaches here using those straps to the roof and then you end up with like a bunk bed situation so um, you need to have two beds here or you know fold it out of the way for storing toys or whatever you want here you have the toilet stall a little slip here to hold this and then um so there's shower and toilet there's a curtain that attaches up here in the ceiling so that you can have kind of a shower curtain um sink water pump domestic sink here and domestic stove two little two burner gas stove here um lots of so your voltage meter and then um lots of little 12 volt outlets and tucked away in different places like down here there's an additional one down here um and then there's several right here you got a 12 volt and a usb built in here as well as lighting and fuses really easy access to the stuff uh, the truma i think is a c44 fridge really efficient fridge um and then over here of course you have the sleeping area so uh and slash eating so this thing lays down flat on here fits in nicely and then you put the additional pad that's folded on top and then you get a good good sized bed back here um Storage is here that you've got like these milk crates, which is actually really kind of ingenious because it's we really like it for loading because we just take them out, take them inside the house, put whatever we're going to put in here, and then slide them out, carry them out, you know, and put them in here. Um, and this is the battery compartment in here. You can see the little heater outlets here as well. Um, I've got two large batteries in here, biggest I could fit. Let's see if I can pull this out real quick. These things just unscrew. So here you can see a couple big old batteries in serial here. Um, these uh, do quite well. I don't remember the exact dimensions or whatever ratings they had on them, but here, two pretty serious batteries. Um, <clears throat> again, more storage, lots of these milk crates all throughout. And then over here, you've got your water pump switches, your, you know, lighting. Um, too bright in here to tell. This is where you control water heater and uh, the thermostat for this thing. Um, this thing turns on, and then I think I've got it actually disconnected at the moment. Okay, so there it is, now it's on. And you can either turn the, the fan on, the water heater, or the, the heater in the, in the place here. Got a little clock there. Um, other controls for lighting and stuff over here. Let's see, what else? Uh, air conditioner here. So when you're connected to 
shore power or whatever the point is you have an actual connection then you can actually run the ac in here we've barely used this we are almost always off grid when we do this so um we don't use that much but it works well as far as we know um flips down so you get that out of the way so you have a more working area here as well like i said this thing is entirely removable if you don't want it 